Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, we're back working on the seaplane, as you can see. Uh, last time we worked out some of our flotation issues. Uh, we added a hatch, fixed our tail here. Uh, so basically the entire shape of the plane is done. So what we need to do now is start to get this thing flying, uh, work on some additional systems, things like that. But the main goal today is we're gonna put some engines on this thing and we're gonna see if we can take flight with this thing. So I'm super excited. Uh, I hope you guys are too, so make sure you smash a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and not waste any more time, and let's jump into the workbench. Alright, so I did move over to the hangar. I don't know what was going on with the uh, creative base, but it had this low noise that was just driving me insane. Uh, so we are over at the uh, hangar. Uh, when we go to test this, we'll just spawn it in over there so we can actually deal with the uh, the noise, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. First things first, let's do some symmetry mode. Uh, that always helps. And I'm thinking somewhere along this line here is going to be our engine. Uh, so I'm thinking something like this. Uh, what if we even go? What is going on here? What is that? That is for our ailerons there okay so this will be good uh let's get i'm thinking we get rid of all this as well here uh let's see bear with me for a second we'll figure this out uh i don't know why it keeps flipping over like that uh let's go here to here okay that's perfect let's come up underneath here's what we're gonna do we're gonna add another little level there uh so when we drop our engine down it'll sit more even with uh everything uh, and I guess we need to kind of have it come forward a little bit. Uh, yeah, that should give us some room back here for all our other stuff coming off of this. Perfect. Uh, let's uh, close this in. Nope, that's not how we do it. We do it like that. And we'll put some wedges here to close that in. Perfect. Uh, we could just do another wing set like that. Allow it for some lack of weight there. Perfect. Uh, I think that does not need to go like that, though. Uh, let's do that. And what are we missing here? Just a couple blocks. Uh, let's get rid of these first. We'll get rid of these. Uh, let's pump these in there. Perfect. Uh, we're going to need to do something under here to make this look a little nicer. And I think if we just take, say, a single block like that, and then we come in here with, say, these guys, the little one-by-one one wedges, I think we can actually make this look pretty decent without a whole lot of work. Yep, that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll come back in there like that, and we can come back here, and we'll just do something like that to kind of smooth this out a little bit. That looks pretty good, and we can do the same thing on top. Uh, we'll just kind of find our spot here, figure out a way to cover this. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we got to get to there and there. So the top's going to be a different shape, it looks like. Uh, not a problem. So we'll just get rid of that, that, and that. Uh, we'll come off of here like... Okay, game. Okay, we'll just do it individually because uh, it's probably faster than me struggling. Uh, so we'll come all the way back like this. And then we'll come all the way back like that. Uh, first things first, I do need to build this actual engine. But let's go ahead and grab ourselves the two-by-ones. And we'll plop those in here and here. And then we'll get those guys there. Does that look too bad? Or do they look too massive on there? Not too bad. I'm not sure if I'm uh let's just keep going with it. Let's keep going with it. Let's uh let's get these engines running. Um, because that would be nice. Uh, how much room do we have in here? Uh quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh put that back and that back. Uh, let's see. First things first, let's come over here. Let's grab ourselves some air. We'll just slap ourselves an air filter on there for now. Um, that should be good. Come around the back side here. Let's go ahead and get our radiator. And I think we'll just uh, we'll open that back up. Get our radiator. Uh, we'll do electric. Why not? We're using medium engines. I think if we do something like that, that'll look good. Uh, it'll give us some shape underneath a little bit. I don't know if I'm digging that. Hmm, can we hide the uh can we hide the radiator in here? Let's see if we can do that. Uh, I think we probably can. Uh what else do we got to deal with? We got to deal with fuel. 
uh, which is not a problem. Fuel can come right into here. So it's fluid, 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 port. Uh, this is what we'll do. We'll uh, get up in the wing here. I think actually, let's do, nope. I go there and then that's gonna delete my wing section. Hmm. 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 Not sure. You know what? Hang on. Let's try this. Let's uh ideas, ideas. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. Uh now that I'm now that I'm laying it out, I don't think it's gonna work because those blocks are gonna block it. Uh can I put a fluid port there? Negative. So we're stuck with it here in a in a way. Um Oh, coolant, coolant. Let's let's pipe some stuff. Maybe that'll help us get get to where we're going, and we'll see what we have space wise. So coolant can go down. You know, coolant can come back up since we're not gonna stick it out of the bottom. Come on, rotate. We'll put coolant somewhere back there. Uh, let's go ahead and grab pipe, 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 pipe. Perfect radiator. That's a good spot for it, I think now. Just kind of figure out how to get this in here. Why does this not want to work here? Come on. All right, there we go. Radiator is in. That gives us plenty of room to move this fuel line around here. Um, I'm thinking right in here. Uh, fluid, fluid port, fluid port, fluid port. There we go. There's the fluid port. All right, fuel could be sucked into there now. Let's get pipes into this. And let's just go straight up with it, I think. Uh, that should work. And we can go straight back down. Oh, we had the right pieces. We had the right pieces. All right. Fuel is in. Now we just got to figure out exhaust. And I think we can actually come out the top here. Uh, so let's, let's pipe these up. Or do we come out the sides and run it? Ooh. Ooh. You know what? That could actually look better. So let's hang on. Let's. Let's come all the way back here with this. See how this all looks closed in. Come on. Do that. We'll do that. And I think all that's going to stay open. The only thing we got to figure out is this. This now looks like garbage. Uh, let's, let's see if we can figure this out a little bit. Um, that's not going to work. What if we did this? Oh, that actually looks quite nice. Uh, so we'll leave that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Nope, nope, come on. We want all the parts. There we go. And we'll just put a tiny wedge there and a block there. That looks awkward. Uh, maybe we extend it into this. Is that gonna work? Uh, let's grab these pieces in, drag them down, put that one in place. Um, hmm, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. That's really going to bother me. Uh, let's get that, that, and that out of here. And let's just go back to these. Uh, let's see what these look like in there for now. Come on. I mean, that is better. Um, it's still a little awkward, but as most things are in this game. Uh, let's get our exhaust figured out here. Let's get back inside. Uh, we want to get a angle piece here. If I can, no room to work. No room to work. All right, so we go up. We go out, same thing with this one. Let's go up and out, up and come on, right there. Perfect, perfect. Uh, let's get ourselves some more pipe pieces, but we want the solid ones. Uh, we'll go to straight, straight right there, straight right there. Which means this and this are gonna have to be inverse pieces, not universe pieces, inverse pieces, inverse. So we'll do something like that and something like that. Uh, extra piece. We don't need that. So now we got to go back to our pipes, back to our pipes. I'm going to grab an angle, send it straight back. Then that one straight back. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some catalytic converters. Uh, I'm going to plop two down for now. Uh, and if we do have smoke issues, we will drop another one on there. Uh, exhaust. Fine and dandy. Let's get that there and we'll get that there. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's jump in here. Uh, we need to add some fuel spawners. Spawner. And we'll need a meter as well. 
just so we know what's going on and quite a bit of fuel there um i doubt we'll need all of that but we'll have it uh let's see let's clean up the front side of this now all right so we'll do something like that we'll put the little wedges here a little wedge action there uh we could bring this cow piece out some we could do that there and there there and really hide a lot of this stuff here that we don't need. And maybe that'll help us look a little bit. Oh no, we need the engine. We definitely need the engine. Let's get that out of the way. Something like that. Bring this front, bring this front. And we'll need to do something probably like this now. Uh, let's see what we can do here. This is probably the ugliest cow I've ever built for an airplane, guys. Um, maybe it'll work out here. Maybe it'll work out. Uh, let's do that. Uh, come on, why is it not selecting my pieces today? That feels so weird. Um, did it again. We'll get those there. Those will be there. Um, gearbox, gearbox, gear, gear. All right, so I'm going to want a gearbox. There's a couple things I'm going to want to do here. Uh, I'm going to want to get a torque meter in here as well. Hmm. So I think what we need to do is go for a T-pipe. Uh, let's do a T-pipe. Uh, then we're going to need to come back around. And then here's where we'll do our gearboxes. Gear. And we're gonna face up, face up. Let's get our torque meter, torque. And the reason I do torque meters is I just, I really like to know what the engine RPS is doing and then what the overall RPS is doing. And that's why we do that. Uh, let's get another gearbox in here in case we need it. Uh, then we can come back, back. Uh, we do one more, we go a straight piece, I think. Another curve. Oh my god, that's so ugly. Are we going to slide stuff back or just really make this cow come out forward some more? Probably what's going to have to happen. Uh, let's go for props. Uh, let's get our rotor end light here. Uh, slap that on. That looks good. Uh, let's change these up. We're going to make these as big as we can. And we're going to go three blades. Uh, we'll go five if we need. I doubt we'll need. Uh, so far, so good. That looks all right. Now we got to get in here and hide all this mess uh, that we made. Uh, all this needs to be cowled in and do that like so. All right, so we'll do the same thing on the other side here. Do, 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 do. And I don't mind seeing some of this stuff. It's not It's not a problem to see some of this stuff. It is, it is kind of nice every now and then. Uh, let's, that probably needs to be like this means these are wrong uh so we can just come in and replace those like that we'll replace these like this that goes there come on come on rotate for me that goes there and then this piece should fit right in here nicely i say that but it probably won't nope it doesn't it doesn't erg erg uh Get in here and add some more blocks. Come on. Want one there, 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 and there. Uh, and then we need to fix those. Those look all right. Uh, it's still ugly as can be. Uh, let's take this piece. Can we get that guy right there? Is it because there's nothing to attach to? I think that's a reason. Come on. I'll go like that. And then I think we'll do this one here like that. That looks awful. Uh, let's get rid of this and this. We'll do that. Come on. Right there. Right there is where you want to go. Really? 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 You can't find that spot? Wow. There we go. Okay, cool. That is done. Let's get... Come on. That can go there. That can go there. Fix the underside of this a little bit, and then we should be good to go here. Um... Well, I obviously have to hook some things up. That will not be a problem. Okay, boom. Boom. Okay, it's not looking too bad. I'm actually not not too upset about how it looks. And of course, we'd always change it. We'd always change it. Come on, rotate the right way. Can we hide any of this? Would this be a spot to hide things? Uh, and could we use this guy? Here, come on. I think we can. Uh, let's do that. The solid block. 
solid, solid. You know what? Can't do a solid because that's going to restrict our air there. Uh, let's go in here and in here. Come on. Why is it not wanting to? Oh, because there's an engine piece there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's get rid of that one and that one. Inverse. That should get us solved here. Maybe. Come on. Yes. There we go. It was the piece I was looking for. I just couldn't couldn't match it up there. All right. So now we can put these back. Interesting. I didn't realize that was going to happen there. Hmm. What if we do something like this? To kind of protect that air filter a little bit. That could work. Oh, we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of this. And it's not going to be perfect, uh, but we'll get, we'll get some closure on this. There we go. And there we go. I think, I think we're almost done, guys. Let's, uh, let's fill in these two little spots here. Right there and right here. Why does that look different on both sides? Because it is different on both sides. Uh, let's get our long piece here. I think it'll still look okay. Yep, still looks okay. And there we go. Engines. Engines are done. Let's hook these guys up now. Uh, we're going to need a gyro, uh, of course. Uh, so let's find a spot for our gyro. We could probably just go down another floor. Yep, let's go down another floor. We'll put it up front here. There is our gyro. Perfect. The other thing we need to do is add a tail control fin here. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of all that. And we'll get rid of all that, which bust into our inside here. Let's uh let's fix this hole up real quick. Like and roll, control, control fin medium. Will that fit in there? Pretty good. Uh, it does actually. Um, let's see which side is which. Positive needs to go to our right side. Perfect. There we go. Now we have y'all. We don't have any elevators. Uh, we're gonna use our props for that. That way we can keep our wing shape nice and clean there. Uh, yeah. Let's hook some things up now. All right. So first things first. Let's get some power onto our gyro. Let's get our gyro. Y'all, let's roll. We can do roll. Roll can go there and there. Our y'all can come back to our tail. Nice. And our pitch is just going to come straight to our pitch on our plane here. Easy peasy. Now, if we don't, if we have an issue where we're not able to y'all as good as we can, uh, we can hook up y'all to our roll here since our our props are kind of turned on a 45 here, uh, and that would actually turn this roll into a yaw. But we don't need that right now. Let's um, call this co-pilot, and we'll call this pilot. All right, he definitely wants a hat, a pilot mask. You know what, this guy can have a pilot mask too. Uh, so back to here, this is the seat that we're working with. So let's find our gyro I want. Up and down, collective for now, just because. Uh, w and S is going to be our pitch. Left and right is going to be our y'all. And A and D is going to be our roll. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's hook up, uh, say, seat button one. Temporarily, this will be our starter. I want that to be on a push. And then we'll call this one our gyro. And that should be on a toggle. Uh, so number two, where's number two, number three, number two, number two, come down here to our gyro. Number one comes over to our starters. Where are they at? Perfect. Um, a throttle, you guys, we need a throttle, 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 throttle. Let's put that in here. Uh, let's just slap this down in the middle for now. Uh, we can always move it. Uh, we're going to send that signal to our engines here. Throttle and throttle. Uh, and now I think we just need power on everything. So power the engine. Power the fans. Power the elevators. Uh, our fans are not hooked up yet, so we do need to do that. Um, let's we'll just hook everything up. Gearboxes aren't changing to anything yet. But we'll get rid of all these error messages. All right, perfect. That is that. Let's put... 
just for the time being, uh, we'll go occupy to our fans here. And as long as the you're sitting there, we should cool our engines down. Okay. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think. Let's start it here in the uh, in the hangar and see what it does. Oh, overflying here. Let's see if we can actually get this thing to crank up. Okay, so we do crank up. We don't have any power whatsoever. Uh, that one-to-one -one ratio is just just sucking real bad. Uh, let's see if we can increase those. I'm thinking three to one on both of them should be good. Uh, that's quite a bit of multiplying of the RPS there. Uh, three to one. Three to one. Oh, and I need... I need a dial here, you guys, because, uh, like I said, I want to know what the RPS of those engines are. Uh, so let's go there. Oh, nope. Temporary. We're going to stick one there and there. So let's grab our RPS. That. Let's get our RPS off of our torque meter. And this will just help us find the best ratio for these engines. Uh, da, 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 RPS here. And then let's get those some power. Power on those. Power, power. And they're not backlit. That's our problem there. Okay, so spawn. Let's see if this even leaves the hangar. And then we'll put it back in the water and see how we do. Um, okay, you guys, it actually does fly. Very slowly we are flying. And I don't remember how to put the props up. Five, five. Why is that, why is that translating to five on both ends? Hmm. How else does it fly? Other than that, it flies pretty good. Uh, I don't remember how our flaps go up. Four? Three? Uh, six? Five? I think we disconnected our flaps here. Or not our flaps, our floats. Okay, there we go. I didn't have the gyro on the whole time, too. Um, now I'm in an uncontrollable roll. Oh, our, uh, our ailerons. You see them? They're both doing the same thing. Uh, we're going down. We're going down. We're going down. Okay, so we got to fix a couple things here. Uh, first of all, this guy here is wrong. Uh, so you go bye-bye. Um, we need this to have a positive up, right? Because when we push D, we want this to go up. Yep, that's that's how we want it. Okay. Uh, so we need to rehook the power up on this to hook up our roll. Not sure why I deleted roll from both of those. And power. Interesting. Okay, so everything's powered up. Correct. All right. Perfect. Uh, the other issue we had was things were going slow. Why were things going so slow? That was so weird. Okay, so let's back this up to, say, two to one. We'll, uh, we'll decrease our our engine here. Uh, let's, let's figure out why this is not going up, too. Uh, uh, our microcontroller is here. Constant on. Oh, because there's the button in the middle of the floor. That's what that's for. Duh. Uh, I'll start labeling things, and that might help. We'll call that floats. We can go back and fix everything else later. Um, I'm curious about that engine's not running well. Uh, okay, so we can go ahead and... Oop. Okay, those go up. Uh, gyro... All right, we have a lot more power like that. That is awesome. Uh, gyro's off. Let's see if we can go down with it. Restottle. Let's let's see if we can land it in the water. Uh, floats. Come on, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. No throttle. And yep, we can go down for sure. Uh, that's gonna take some practice. And we're not sitting good either. Um, probably the over excessive amount of fuel that we have. Let's, um, I want to get out of here. Let's take it to, actually, we're in the water. Let's just test from here. Uh, worst case scenario, we have a float that's dug into the water. All right, here we go. Look at it go. Guys, we don't even have to put any, like, control fins on the bottom of this thing. This is nice. Why well, can't... Oh, no, I did the same thing. I left mirror mode on. That's why I deleted all that stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's try that one more time. And then maybe we can figure this out. Okay, mirror mode off. So now we got to fix this one. 
Profen. So this one needs to be negative up. Is that negative up? That is negative up. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. So let's see. That comes back to here. Power comes to there. Everything else is good. Let's spawn it. We don't even need wheels on this thing. It just literally takes off straight from the, uh, straight from the hangar. Look at that. All right, do I have roll? Oh, yes, 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 I got roll. Okay. Woo. All right, gyro on. This thing flies nice and level, you guys. Uh, let's take it down. Uh, we'll go 50% okay, throttle. Get it down. We'll try another landing here. I might have to put a throttle on our up and down just so we can stay in, you know, a visual mode. Come on, come on, come on. It wants to take off. It doesn't want to sit in the water. Yeah, it like wants to lift up so much. All right, so that's going to take some practice, obviously. That's good. Let's, uh, I'm going to start out over. First of all, I'm going to save it. All right, so we've saved it. Let's get out of here. Let's go over to where we were down here. And I just want to start out in the water and see how that goes. The, the, the main thing is that it does fly and it takes off very well. Uh, landing is something to be desired. Um, but yeah, come in here. We could drop down in, close our hatch, come on in. Why are we leaning so far to the right? I feel like I've got a hole in that somewhere. Let's do this. Let's, uh, ideas. We probably don't need as much fuel as we have. We'll have to do, uh, we'll have to do some math down the road with our fuel consumption. But we'll figure that out for now. Uh, let's spawn that in and see if that sits a little nicer. 100% that's what that is. Uh, so we might have to put some fuel in the actual belly of the plane instead of in the wings so they're not so side heavy. Uh, but that works pretty well. Uh, let's get inside again. Yep. Get to our seat. It's still doing it. Still doing it to that one side. So yeah, we might not be storing fuel in the, uh, in the wings. We'll see. Uh, let's get this thing started. Get our gyro on. Uh, it helps to have some throttle. And we're up. It's easy just like that. It did want to nose down a little bit. I noticed that it was trying to do that classic Stormworks nose down into the uh, into the water. But uh, this thing is good, man. It, fly, it flies like it should. It, I think we're going to be able to do a lot with this. Look, let's, uh, let's see if we can get up to this guy here. Hello. First day on the job. Did we get it? I'd say that's a successful flight, right? Let's use that as a screenshot. What do we say? Now, can we recover? Can we recover? No. Our engine is on fire. Uh, maybe engine suppression system, like a fire suppression system, would be good for this. Maybe that's something we could do down in the, later on. Uh, let's see. Now our flaps don't even work. We're in a flat spin. Uh, let's see if we can back the throttle out, get out of the spin. No. Splash down. But we're still floating, which is good. We could be rescued by a boat if we needed to be. Those guys are screwed. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you making it to the end here. Uh, we have done some damage to our plane. It does fly. It flies. We've got a little bit of weight issues here. We'll figure that out with the fuel. We could probably put a lot of it in the nose of our plane. But guys, we did it. It's flying. It's working. It is not a submarine. Uh, I was concerned that that was going to happen, and I think a few of you were concerned that that was going to happen. But guys, thanks so much for making it this far. I appreciate you 100%. Make sure you smash a like on this video. It does help the algorithms out. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one, guys.